All right, listen just, to Purge. Let me just list off my bank information real quick. While you're at, purchase this. Social security number. I wish I knew that. You don't know your social security number off heart? No. Why would I? Because sometimes you need to know that shit. Like mine is AB73. I didn't see my head of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold on, I'm just typing that into, um. AL? Yeah, uh, AOL, yeah. So do I. <laughs> I've got like 60 AOL accounts. Nice. He's making fun of you, Sonic. What do you think about that? I'm not. I'm not joking. He's making fun. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have them. I'm not. I'm not making that up. I'm making it up. I know you're making it up. Fuck you. Wake up, Jeff. I like it. I hate your cursor. I hate you. Yeah, well. I don't have to know. Doesn't mean he has to like it. When it's in Katawa Shoujo or when it's normal? Mine looks like mine's uh, it gets smaller. Yeah, okay, well. We're on uh, Antiques and Pie, right? Is what? Oh, Shady Encounter? That's before Antiques and Pie. That's when we're talking to Mickey. Uh, I think we'll manage, right? That's the right line, right? I'm not... Oh, yeah, okay, that's the next line. All right. Right here. Yeah. I, I don't know either. It's gonna run. Well, it didn't get better. Boom! And then you see, uh, I'm doing a dunk.
What? <laughs> what is? What was that? Oh yeah, sure. I mean, he's bad, though. Because he doesn't know that the first three episodes are good. And I say that tentatively because I don't remember what exactly... When exactly it goes really bad really fast. That, too. No, but it's not the worst at the start. Like, it's... Yeah. It gets better when they won't let it die. <laughs> Why won't Kirito cuck ass enough? Is the real question? He could, anytime. Because he's got Yui. Yeah, like Yui. <laughs> or Yui. <laughs> now, Shinan's has got that weird stalker guy. She belongs to him. I think he died. <laughs> I don't know. Plus, Asuna is already, uh... Asuna is, is already with the guy who licked her. And those tentacle dudes, for some reason. <laughs> I forgot about the tentacle dudes. <laughs> Why? Why is that show so bad? Alright, hold on. Now I gotta go look up Sword Art Tentacle Dudes. What? I wanna make sure I'm not making this up. Tentacle Men. Here we go. Images. It's the one... It's those slug dudes. Tentacle slugs. These dudes. Do you remember those guys? They were people. They were people. Oh, I remember them. They were real people, and they I... were like, "Hey, our our um our avatars in game are gonna be slug dudes." <laughs> that those were the creators of the game, and they catch ass and other like mods or something or developers that was in uh, uh S sao yeah Not i SAO. remember uh, yeah the sword Island. <laughs> that was in the second season when she's I in remember... the cage i think so no it's when she's in the cage wait is it the first season christ i don't even remember it's in the first season it's during that it's it's Dumb when she's in the cage, and everyone's a fairy. Yeah, but it's before that. It's before, they, it's before that, because I didn't watch that. <laughs> yeah, when they went back, like, the moment they went back, I just turned it off, and I was like, well, I don't even want to go back. Like, I didn't want, I didn't like the series, but I was still watching it, because I wanted to see what happened, and, like, how it could keep going, and then it went back, and I was like, well... Time to go home. Yeah. <laughs> He's with that guy. <laughs> the slugs were only in like one scene and it made no sense. Ah, I love the slugs. <laughs> yeah, no one knows his name. But that's good. Yeah. He should have married her in real life while she was in a coma. <laughs> I forgot that it was his plan. Uh, yeah, he was gonna marry her in real life while she was in the coma, and then Kirito was like, no, you can't, she's my girlfriend. And he's like, no, she's in a coma, she can't say no. <laughs> no, she can't say no, they're gonna do it. I'm pretty sure that was his plan, or he was, yeah, I don't know. It was something like that. 
I don't know why he was doing that. But, you know. He wanted to marry a high school girl who was in a coma. It's not me. Come on, Sonic, you don't know how to burn CDs. Nope. Yeah, I'm I'm here. I'm ready. I just waiting for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I, I was wondering if you were just like quietly playing without telling us. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm on a I'm on my lily route now. Oh, good. I already done how to go through. Yeah, you're on your lily route. You mean the route that you're definitely on right now? No, I'm on Hanako's route. No, you're on Lily's. How do you think no. you're in the city with Lily? I'm on Hanako's. Don't lie. I don't know about that. Uh, anyway, with Lily's... What? Lily's? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great, I'm gonna be all on my own. Put, like, a fucking... Uh, a timestamp of when the actual fucking episode starts. Anyway. This is bonus content. This is bonus content. <laughs> this is behind the scenes. Yeah. All right. Uh, with Lily's simplistic and rather optimistic statement. I don't have a zip code. New egg. What? <laughs> zip code. New egg's asking me for my zip code. Yeah. I don't have one. They... What? There's no what? zip codes in Canada. I'm on. I'm on Canada mode. Yep. Yep. There's zip codes in Canada. No, there's no zip codes. I'm trying my postal code. I did it and it worked. <laughs> God it's, damn. it's asked me for a zip code and I don't have a zip code. Zip codes are postal saying. codes, you fool. No, they're not. The zip this... codes are like completely different. No, they're the same. They're laid out different. You're dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. Hold on, let me go zip code lookup. Let's find this. Alright, who cares? With Lily's no, simplistic and rather... <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to start the episode or not? No. Okay, good. Let's now. talk about let's talk about Eva's zip code. Uh oh, <laughs> it's a five-digit zip code. That's not what we do. Uh oh, uh -oh. we do By six type digits. E. No, we do we like use... fucking. We do uh, letters and numbers. They just do like bullshit all day. Yeah, sh sure. I'm sure. It's just numbers yeah. all day, and we need the letters. Because yeah. they go like, hey. Don't have a letter here, put, so I'm gonna kick you out off of our down, American put store. In comment, put in the comments, hashtag Eva's gay. Uh, I think you're dumb and I hate you. <laughs> nah, I quit. But I'm not quit leaving. The show. I quit, I quit the, the show. show in the third season. <laughs> you're gonna have to find a new done voice the, actor. Or not even done the first season. <laughs> Alright. Alright. With Lily's. Are we, are we good? We good? Yeah? No. Yeah? You need a cookie? Huh? Alright. With, with Lily's simplistic and rather optimistic statement, we set off into the shopping district of the city, and I start describing everything I see to Lily. It's hard to think of Hanako going window shopping. She doesn't feel like the type to place much stock in fashion, nor have That's I noticed her. <laughs> There's a bird. There's a bird? Right, but I do need to go across my room, so... You'll have to soldier on without me. No! <gasps> what do I do? Nor have I noticed her reading magazines or the like. In fact, all I think I've really seen her do as a hobby is read books. There's a... Uh, the, uh... Yeah, we read books. Oh damn it! All right. That's the there's, best part. There's a there's a houseware shop just ahead. Is the next line. Yeah, so that's the line I'm already on. <laughs> Good. 
<laughs> didn't you like? Didn't you skip ahead like up to like a point where they were like getting shit out of a vending machine or some bullshit? I don't know. I was like way ahead. I did lunch. <laughs> I had to like scale it way back at some point. All right. Well, there's a there's a house where a shop just ahead. Looks like it's mostly crockery though. <laughs> I can't think that she'd have much need for that. Damn it! Fuck this <laughs> And what type of message would that send to her? Um, cook more food? It's not such a bad idea, maybe. Sometimes it's best to leave these things alone, man. All right, I'm not doing that anymore. Not till Lily's route. Yeah. Tune in for Lily's route for immersive Scottish gameplay. Once again, I get the feeling that Hanako's exploits in the kitchen aren't always successful. Lily's must have Lily must have had the hmm, help her with yep. that sometimes. Let's see. Uh, next along is a bookshop. That seems like a good one. She's always reading. Uh, yes, but there are a few problems with books. I'm not quite sure what she has and hasn't read. Read read. What about a gift card then? There's nothing as impersonal as giving someone a gift card. It's like saying, I don't know enough about you to work out what you like. I always thought I was making sure they got what they wanted. Giving people gifts is supposed to show them the level of affection you have for them. If you can't decide on a simple gift for them, then yeah, how I love much you $50. <laughs> how much could... <laughs> no! Then how much could you think of them? Right, right. No gift cards. Lily seems overly passionate about this, but I can see her point. Unlike her, she can't see anything. If you're going to get someone something for someone, then you should put at least some thought into it. If I want to get something for Hanako that reminds me of us every day, reminds her of us every day, day to day, day to day, then what good is a gift card? She can keep the gift card, never use it. Frame it on the wall. In that case, what did you get Hanako last year? A porcelain doll. I thought that if she had someone to talk to, it might help her ease her pain. <laughs> so, Lily's solution to her being an antisocial crazy is giving her a doll, an inanimate object, that she can talk to. It's not just to talk to. What else does she do? Yeah, got him. A doll isn't ever going to criticize her, after all. So, should I be looking for a doll shop? If you could be so kind to keep a lookout for one, I would be grateful. Sounds good to me. I wish you'd mentioned it earlier. But if I did that, then you wouldn't have started thinking for yourself, would you? LISTEN, YOU STUPID BITCH! Once again, Lily has a point. My brain is currently analyzing every store we pass for gift options. If Lily had mentioned a doll shop to begin with, I wouldn't have thought of anything else. We wandered through the city streets, but seem unable to find anything that resembles a doll shop, or anything that I can consider a fitting present. The simple act of searching is starting to clear my head. The events of last week are starting to fade away, and I'm looking forward to giving Hanako her gift. If I could find one, that is. This is hopeless. I thought we'd be able to find something in the city for sure, and I'm sure we've walked down the street at least once before. That almost sounds like you're giving up, Ramsey. I'm not, but it's a lot harder than I thought. Yeah, all right. This is the end of Kato's Shoujo Forever. Stop the episode. Good. And give up. Try not to be so restricted in your thinking. Maybe we should actually go into some shops and have a look around. That might work. I've never really been any good at window shopping. Lily and I circle around the city streets one more time. This time, popping into stores that catch our attention. In the end, though, nothing comes up as especially appropriate.
Dude, if we don't do karaoke by the end of this episode, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Hanako's tastes are often quite hard to pin down at the best of times. Thanks to her intensely private nature and those tastes we do not know are hard to accommodate. May we take a break for a minute? No, we gotta keep. We just started. I'm a bit exhausted. All right, we'll take a break. All right, here here's this commercial commercial break. Sonic, play a 1960s Japanese commercial for a dildo. I've got a few. <laughs> okay, good. Bum 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 bum. Kill yourself. We're not playing no we shop music stuff. Stop. 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 Sick monster. <laughs> you wanna call monster in here? Yeah, come on. Where's the monster? He gotta play the porn game with he can us. Sing too. <laughs> yeah. Too bad no one will hear it. Oh, that wasn't that good. Hey, that picture in Discord, that's really lewd, and I'm going to have to ask you to put it away. Sorry, one second. Hi, I'm Derek Fong. Say goodbye to daily stains and dirty surfaces with new kitchen... No, not the bitch suits. What? The bitch suit. What? That's what they're called, bitch suits. What? What are you talking about? I seen the picture of you. Don't are fucking you, lie. Are you just like browsing the internet while you're on? Do you have like two monitors? Here? Sonic, don't fucking don't see Eva. Eva, don't do this. Hold on, I'll show you what a bitch suit is. Actually, never mind. I'm gonna keep playing the game. Uh, I agree and leave Lily to rest against the railing while I go to get a couple of drinks from a nearby vending machine. After walk, walking up to the vending machine and grabbing myself some lemonade, I find myself a bit lost. Not really knowing Lily's taste, I decide to take a guess and grab something that seems a little girly but not too weird. Strawberry flavored milk. She's That's allergic to strawberries and milk. I'm back. <clears throat> I walk up to her and place the carton to her outstretched hands, making sure she has a grip on it before letting go. She feels out its contours before opening it and taking a very tentative sip, sip, sip. Her approving smile afterwards, telling me that I made the right choice. We both rest and I have and have a quiet drink for a few minutes. A familiar soft ringing begins to sound from Lily's side. She quickly apologizes as her hand goes into her pocket, pulling out her. Dang. She, she got the email for the For Honor beta. Look at that. Pulling out her mobile phone. Do you mind if I take this? Yes, I fucking mind. No, oh, it's fine. Don't worry. She nods to me and thanks for turning away and flipping the phone open, bringing it to the side of her face as she picks up the call. Going by the tone of Lily's voice, the person on the other side is in no doubt some friend or another. I tune out their conversation pretty quickly, as the snippets that Lily says makes it sound like a little more than gossip. Without much else to do, I find myself watching Lily. She really is a pretty girl, which would hardly hurt her popularity in school. It's interesting just how much Hanako and Lily contrast with each other, in both personality and appearance. Hanako's a fucking ugly bash, bitch, bitch. You okay? <laughs> 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 for a few minutes I just lean back and drink watching her <laughs> I begin to undress her with my eyes hmm that's a blind girl before <laughs> stop Sonic before long Lily says her goodbyes to the person she's talking to and hangs up placing her phone back in her pocket and leaning back against the railing as before 
Sorry, just a friend from class named Kenji. I take one final swig of my can before throwing it onto the ground. Lily gives me her carton to throw away soon after, and I throw it at a nearby bird. You st- <laughs> I throw it at Lily's blind face because she can't do anything about it. You seem to have a lot of friends, I say. Oh? Lily waits for me to continue, her interest peaked. I was just thinking that you and Hanako contrast really heavily. It's hard to imagine Hanako doing a lot of things you you do, or knowing the people you know. You seem to think... You seem to think... What? She's on to you. No. You seem to think about Hanako quite a bit. Oh, wink wonk. I don't know. Yeah, wink wonk. I don't know. It's just... uh, She's mysterious, I guess. I kind of want to know more about her. Which isn't that easy. It almost sounds like you're doubting your relationship to her. I don't think it's that. I just want to do more for her, being her friend and all. I don't even know how she sees me. This statement seems to interest Lily quite a bit. I wonder if Hanako said anything about me to Lily during their conversations. I'm about to ask what's on her mind as she picks herself up from the railing. Shall we be off then? Her voice and expression shows that she's playing games with me. Lily knows damn well that she's leaving me hanging. With a sigh, I pick myself up off the railing as well and give a brief look around before beating her into a senseless pulp. We pick, we have stuff to do, so I'll just try to get back to her about this later. Tucked in between a newsstand and a convenience store is a small shop. The sign above the door says, Othello's Antiques. What is he? Fucking, fuck, fucking, fucking Italian? Othello's? In decorative yeah. English script. <laughs> it would be easy to miss if we were walking along the street. But since we're stationary and I'm purposely looking around, it's just noticeable. Say, Lily, that doll you got Hanako, was it new? Well, yes, but I'm not quite sure I know what you mean. I think I found her shop. It's across the road. Oh, what is it? Some kind of toy shop? It's an antique shop. I think it's probably going to be our best bet. Really? I didn't know we even had one of those near here. Neither did I. I missed it the first time we went by here. It's pretty well hidden. By the way, you both lied to me. You're dirty liars and kill yourselves. Now you're going to die on this route, too. No, not not that. But I'm just gonna leave that as a as a hanger for for you to figure out how you like me. Yes, lie you all the time, lie all day. <laughs> yeah, I've already forgotten. What are what's we talking your, about? What's your name, Eva? Who? Who? Rajesh. Rajish? Yeah, I'm Indian. You sound it. Well then, it can't hurt to check, says Lily. Inspired by... That trick has worked before. Has it? Has it now? On Sonic. Sonic. Right? Yeah. Sonic used to think I was Indian. Did Did you really? Yeah. No, no I think that, that you did. Inspired by this new find, we quickly dust ourselves off and head towards the store. Lily's, ha- Lily's hand finding its way down my pants for guidance. The store has a strange, musky scent to it. The layout is more like... A... What? What are you laughing at? Add your... Add your... Yeah. Add your musky scent to that room. Please. With the layout, man. Don't stop. The layout is more like a garage than a store. Things are strewn around the floor without any immediate semblance or order. Here comes the musk. No. The shopkeeper gives us an almost. Bo- Does he have any arms? Oh, no. they're just tucked behind his back. Okay, cool. <laughs> now you ripped him off. <laughs> I. W- 
I walk up to the shopkeeper and I rip his arms off. The shopkeeper gives us an almost bored look uh, through his particularly small eyes. His face looks weary and tired, and his dress style is distinctly anach anachronistic. Sorry. Anachronistic? I'm, I'm drinking, I'm sorry. Good. He gives us a polite nod of welcome it. before going back to his book. Lily holds on tightly to my arm. And I find myself having to split my efforts between making sure we don't miss a potential gift for Hanako, making sure Lily doesn't inadvertently bump into anything. The task is quite difficult, even with that. Lily <laughs> breaks three vases. <laughs> with that hazardous way, the source laid out, and the many things poking out of the shelves, like. The <laughs> sitting out on pieces of furniture, but eventually we safely arrive at an old desk covered in dolls and teddy bears. I think this is the right place. There's pretty much every kind of doll you can imagine here. That should make the choice much simpler. Could you please pick one for me, Ramsey? I had a feeling that it would come to this. I pictured Hanukkah in my mind, trying to imagine which of the dolls before me would suit her the best. My eyes wander across the collection. Each one is as as, as mm, is as exquisite as the ones before it. The sheer number of styles is boggling, and eventually one catches my eye. Here, what about this one? I pick up a small porcelain doll that looks like that looks to be at least somewhat affordable, dressed in a Victorian era green dress with a little brown hat sitting atop its blonde hair. It looks a little like a lily. <laughs> wow. Doesn't that look cool? No. I gently pass it to her, who delicately feels her way around the object while wearing a look of slight concern. <laughs> it certainly feels beautiful. Do you think it would suit a Hanako, in your opinion? Wait a second. Is this me? <laughs> <laughs> Was I the doll the whole time? She can feel tinkles all over her body. Please, please, tinkle. She's blind. Don't do it. That's how she. That's how he likes him. <laughs> I think it would. It could look good in her room. I don't know what her room looks like because I've never been there. But when was I in her room? When was I in her room? Fuck you. <laughs> In that case, I'll trust your judgment. <laughs> okay, will you be getting her something as well? Or shall this be a shared gift? Hmm, I'm not sure. I think I should get her something myself, but I don't think getting her another doll is such a great idea. Maybe. I left my voice travel as I look around the shop and rest my eyes on an antique flintlock pistol. <laughs> get her a gun! <laughs> <laughs> Resting on a writing table not far from us is a decorative box that catches my eye. Wait here. I think I found something. My, my, that was fast. Just like me in bed. <laughs> I gingerly walk to the collection of crystal glassware and pick up the box. The wooden sides are covered in carvings depicting ancient battles around a castle. It's for honor early art. <laughs> the top, however, looks far too familiar. Alternating squares of white and black varnished wood are arranged on the lid. Uh, hmm. Yeah, uh, he's also Scottish. <laughs> the, the Italian man, also very Scottish. That's the uh, Scotland. Ha someone do an Italian accent. What is an Italian hey. accent? Sound like? It's me! Hey! That's a really nice at him! No, it's that's a, not that's not a it's that's a, not Italian. It's a, that's, it's a Jesse that's a from, Japanese man it's, with a lisp. It's a Jesse from overseas. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll just do this. Yeah, do a, do a sweet New York accent. Yeah, he's he's New Yorker now. The store he's a Guido. The store owner's sudden appearance startles me a little. I didn't see him approaching me at all. I suppose he's trying to help us because we don't really look like we know what we're looking for. 
Or on the other hand, maybe he wants to keep an eye on us because he suspects we might be shoplifting instead. I'm... How old is that bastard now? I've got more tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> I stole the gun. <laughs> the gun is already in my shoe. No, I put, it, I put it through my zipper on my pants. What's he gonna ask? <laughs> is that a gun in your pants? Hey, hey, yeah. you got a, is that a gun in your pants or are you just happy to see me? And then you fire the gun and kill him. Oops, I ejaculated. Yep. <laughs> I'm looking yeah, for a present for a friend. <laughs> yeah, I see. You ejaculated for a present for a friend? In that case, this chest said we'll make a fine choice. Realization floods into my mind. Remember that old one? <laughs> In that case, I don't know. <laughs> I can't do an old man voice. What? I, okay. There you go. This is a pretty good looking set, but this is an antique shop. They're not well known for their bargain prices. How old is this? This is a reproduction. My best estimate is that it's about five years old. Like me. Cranberries. I see. How much? He thinks a little before telling me, which is slightly disconcerting. I'll let you take this now for 7,000 yen. It's Kenji, the whole time. He just needs money for the pizza. <laughs> no! <laughs> he needs money for the pretzels, the whiskey, yeah. and the blanket. I bought a little. I wasn't expecting Seven to spend money. that much. Well, this does seem perfect. Then again, maybe that's a testament to how well he worked out how much he could make me pay. Couldn't make it 5,000. Five, five, five. <laughs> <laughs> the old man has an aneurysm. Fifty, uh, five thousand five hundred, no lower. I am sold. Oh, uh, we'd uh -oh. also like to get that doll. Bring back slavery. The store owner looks over my shoulder, focusing on Lily and the doll on her hands. Lily is holding a Glock and now putting a mask over her face. Give me the money! His eyes narrow, and he visibly takes a moment to switch mental gears. And... Yeah. <laughs> She's He's invisible. In the process, his smile drops slightly. Ah! I'll let you take the doll for the young girl's virginity. I guess so? them. I guess that means that not everything in the store is a reproduction. Uh, are you quite sure you want that doll, miss? I trust my friend's judgment. You bastard! I see. Oh, no offense. None taken. If you could please wrap it for me, that would be appreciated, you dumb old man. Uh, yes, of course, but... It is 20,000 yen. Lily reaches into her purse, purse and presents four crisp-looking 5,000 yen notes. What? No! Yeah. Haggle with her, you dumb bitch! No, it's no. fine. Here, what? No, what? Just give the money. Here, here you are. Oh, that's Lily. Here you are. 20,000 yen. <laughs> the shopkeeper brands are 20,000 yen. This is to she, pay for the <laughs> I tell you what, you take the doll and I'll give you the money. <laughs> the shopkeeper dutifully takes the doll and proceeds to the counter. I take Lily's arm to guide her there. Are you sure about this? No! Why are you in my store? It's okay. I have the funds I need. As I said, I trust your judgment. I feel a little guilty on two fronts. Firstly, because Lily has just spent a lot of money on my recommendation. And secondly, because I have a feeling the value of my gift isn't high enough. I'll pay the 7000 Nevertheless, <laughs> Lily does seem to get somewhat awkward whenever the mention of money comes around. She's rich, isn't she? You're rich. Fuck you. Got him. <laughs> I, hand the shopkeep I hand the shopkeeper my presents and the money for it in return. He you puts the cash though? into the... What? Hanukkah's were pretty rich too with all that life insurance money. 
into the red. Yeah, into that's the it. Okay. Please, into the register before. Shut up! Busying himself with wrapping the doll and repeating the process on the chessboard. Eventually, he finishes the gift wrapping and hands us both our presents. Please be careful on your way back, and do come again. Thanks. Fuck you. The store owner bows deeply for a... Yep. Well, it didn't take us all day, but we found something in the end. That we did. Now that the presents are wrapped, I'm feeling a little impatient to give them to Hanako. It's a common reaction to buying gifts. I wanted to see the reaction of the receiver as they discover what it is. No, I hate that. I want to leave. Like, when the one gives, or gets a gift, I'm like, no, I gotta take off now. Uh, time to go, bye. <laughs> yeah. Gives us a got a blast. And part of me wants to return to Hanako, just to confirm her condition with my own eyes. <laughs> I want to, I want to see those scars. Hanako walks up to you. Want to know how I got these scars? So should we head back? Let's. We've done a lot of walking today, so I shan't mind taking a rest back at the dormitories. Lily's right. Now that we've need now now that the you got now, this. Now that the need to find a shop is over, my legs are feeling quite tired. Well then, back to school for us. I'm looking forward to resting for a bit too. Lily holds out her arm, and I link mine with hers. Together. We make our way down the little big road, the, hmm, the yellow brick road, to the bus stop. 